guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a fall slash winter slash the rest of 2020 TBR. I saw Celestria do this uh, for her fall TBR and I thought it was super fun. Uh, I can't just pick a book, couple books for fall. I have a lot of books that I need to get done by the end of the year and you're going to see how ambitious and how far behind I am. So I'm going to go over my rest of 2020 TBR with you guys today. So um, back in January of this year, feels like 10,000 years ago, I did a TBR video. And in said TBR video, I was like, this is going to be my year. I'm going to do TBR videos and wrap ups and y'all are going to see what an amazing reader and reviewer I am. Hey everybody, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would start the year off with a TBR. I'm hoping that 2020 is our year. We'll do like wrap ups and TBRs. I think it'd be fun. I don't know. I've got some stuff planned. I'm really excited to see what the year holds and what this month holds and just all of the reading. Thank you laughter from the peanut gallery. Everybody laugh at their screens. Because <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. No. That did not happen. I've already gone over my 52 book goal this year but not by much. It has been a very interesting year for everyone. Um, but for me, I started a new business. I have a full-time non-bookish job, which is very sad that I need to do that, but somebody needs to fund my book obsession and that somebody is me, so I have a job. And a few other things that have just made reading for review a little bit difficult this year and honestly, I just haven't had the biggest motivation to pull out my camera and to pull out my books and to read. So I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to be better about managing my time, but work in progress. So these are all the books that I need to read by the end of the year. Some I could probably move around and read at the beginning of next year, but I am going to try my absolute hardest to get to these this year. And I'm sure I will add books to it just because we still have November and December for books to come out and there's some books that I know I'll be getting because I'm on influencer teams and books that I know I'll want to read um, because I'm a bookworm. I'm going to show you the books that I have at the moment on hand and these are in no particular order. I'm just, I pulled them off my TBR shelf and threw them over here and decided I was going to film it. So. Here we go. The first one I have is His Holiday Prayer by Tina Radcliffe. This is book four, three. Book three in her new Oklahoma brother, sister, sibling, I don't remember, series. And I'm very excited. I haven't enjoyed the, the series so far. I did not love it as much as I did the last series, but I'm very excited to read this one. And it set it around Christmas. We all love a good holiday book, right? The next one I have is Raising Honor by Jill Wynn. And this is book four, I think, in her Colorado Grooms series. And I've been enjoying the series as well. Some books I like more than others, but that's any series ever. But I loved the characters uh, that are in this book in the last book. So I'm very excited to read more of their story. The next book is another one that I'm excited about. That is Jocelyn by Sarah Monzen and this is book two in her Sewing and SoCal series. Molly came out earlier this year and Jocelyn just came out recently and I I love Sarah's books. They're super super fun. I go through them really really fast and I know it'll be a good breakup between the historical that I have to read because sometimes if you read too much historical you get a little burnt out. Same with too much contemporary so I like to break it up every once in a while. I'm very excited about this one. Next, I have a book that I could probably push towards like the end of my TBR, depending on how I'm feeling. I don't know. Uh, and that is Heart of a Royal by Hannah Curry. This is book one in her Daughters of Prevel? Peverell? I should probably figure out how to pronounce things. Well, so be it. This is book one in her Royal series. Book two came out in July, I believe, and book three is coming out later this year or early next year. And I really want to read the series and yeah, I have it on my TPR because royal books. 
We all love them. The next book is another one that I might possibly push down, but really, really, really need to get to. That is Before I Called You Mine by Nicole Deese. And this book came out really early this year. I think in January. I've had it for a while. However, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like this cover. It doesn't call to me. He doesn't call my name from my TBR shelf saying, Alicia, read me. So I don't. I need to not do that because I've heard the story inside is absolutely amazing. And I hear this from people that I trust and I know have my reading tastes in mind. So I do really need to read it. I will get to it. I promise. Next, I have The Key to Love by Betsy St. Amant. And this just came out recently from Ravel Publishing. And I had, see, this is the cover that calls to me. But like, not really in the fall time. So, this might be like, no, no, I'm going to be good. It has to be done this fall. It will get done. It just screams like spring, summer read to me because the colors are so bright and so fun and baking and cookies. But maybe I'll do it around like Christmas because baking and cookies. But we'll see. I'm a big mood reader, so it depends on when it calls to me and how I'm feeling. But I do have this one to read, and I'm very excited to give it a go. Next. Oh, I'm so excited about this book. I have The Haunting at Bonaventure Circus by... Jamie Jo Wright. This is the perfect fall read to me. Um, it was supposed to be one of my October Betty reads with my friend Grace, but life has been crazy for us this month, so we'll probably push it to November, but that's totally fine as long as it's done before December when like snow really starts happening and I get like all in the Christmas mood. I'm trying to keep myself in the fall mood as much as possible right now because I want to enjoy the fall that we're actually getting this year in Indiana because I know that winter is going to come and Christmas is going to come and it's going to be great in its moment, but I want to enjoy fall because it is my favorite season. But this book came out recently. I don't remember when. September. September. Um, and I have yet to read it, which is crazy for me considering I love Jamie with so much of my heart and I love her books. They're not for everyone. I will tell you that they are not for everyone. Um, but if you like a good split time, kind of spooky-ish read, I mean, I don't think they're creepy, but I'm also, like, I don't think many things are creepy. So it's just kind of a per personal preference thing. But I'm very excited to read this. I just keep rambling. Next, I have Set the Stars Alight by Amanda Dykes. If you have not read Whose Waves These Are, by Amanda Dykes. I really don't know what you're doing with your life because I cannot recommend that book enough. Um, Ashley from Bringing Up Books cannot recommend that book enough. Abby from Adventures of a Literary Nature cannot recommend that book enough. And anybody who's read the book cannot recommend it enough because it's amazing. And Amanda just has like this beautiful, beautiful writing style. It's like I don't even know how to explain it. It's just beautiful. It's like lyrical and musical, but like, it's beautiful. Her books are split time, but they're just done so well. And I'm so excited to read this book. It came out in July and I just haven't been able to get to it yet, but I will be getting to it because this just, it's, it screams the fall winter read to me for some reason. I adore this cover so much. Ugh. Next, I have Things We Didn't Say by the lovely Amy Lynn Green. And this is her debut with Bethany House. She is our senior publicist at the company. And when everyone found out that she was writing a book, we were all so excited. Everybody in the Christian fiction world who knows Amy screamed a little because we were so excited. But it's finally coming out. November 3rd is its release date, and it's told in letter form. And I'm super, super, super excited to read it. It's chunky, and I'm here for it. This historical fiction makes it even better. Next, I have The Love Note by Joanna Davidson Palatano, and this just came out recently. And not going to lie, I didn't love the cover when it first released, like when she revealed it. But now that I have it in person and I look at it, I do. It's, it's growing on me. I like it. Um, I'm very excited to read this one as well. Joanna's books are always amazing, so... It's historical too, you can't go wrong. Next, I have a book that I've been looking forward to for the longest time, and I hate that time has just not allowed me to read it, that it's Vine for the Viscount 
by Christiane Hunter. This is book one in her newest series, Hearts on the Heath. I am super, 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 super excited for this series, and I'm very excited for this book. I've heard it's amazing too, so I cannot wait to dive into it. Um, I know that once I start it, I won't want to stop, but that kind of makes me sad because then I have to wait for book two. But I feel like it's coming a lot quicker than I think it is, so maybe I just need to like get over myself and <laughs> read the book. Then I have another one that I'm very excited about. All these books, I should just say that I'm very excited to read them. I just haven't had time. Like I'm anxious and I want to read them and I will. I'm very excited. I just, <sighs> I need more hours in a day or someone to just pay me to read. That'd be great. I would, I would for sure just be, I would sit at home and read all day. Absolutely. Someone just pay me. Someone create that job. Next, I have The Kissing Tree. And this is a novella collection with stories by Karen Whitmeyer, Regina Jennings, Amanda Dykes, and Nicole Deese. And those are four lovely authors. And I'm so crazy excited about this book and this collection. Because Karen has been teasing about this story for a while in her Facebook group. And we actually got to see tidbits and little peaks and sneaks. Sneaks and peaks, I guess is what I should say. Sneak peaks. <laughs> about the story. And we got to help as a group kind of pinpoint and pick things. Um, if you're not a part of Karen's group and you love her, it's the posse. And it's open to everybody. And it's just a really fun group to be a part of. And we get a lot of insider information to Karen's stories. And we know a lot of things that are coming down the pipeline so when we finally finally see them into fruition, we're very, very, very excited. Essentially, this story is told um, in time periods all about one tree. And I love stuff like that. I love stuff that goes through the generations. And I'm very excited to see each author handle it. And I love that they got authors from that are very good in their timelines. They write very wonderful stories um, in the timelines that they're been asked to write a story about so I'm very excited. The next one I have I'm actually in the middle of buddy reading it with my friend Grace and that is A Life on Stream by Rachel Fordham. This book came out earlier this year I don't remember when July? July I think. Um, and yeah, we've just been having a hard time reading in general but we are excited to finish it. Finish it I can't speak so that we can talk about it and I can finally talk about it with my friends who have read it and keep asking me when I'm done with it, but like I'm getting to it guys, I promise. But now I'll actually be able to add like, actual thoughts to the conversation. The next one I have is another one that I just started, so I'll probably finish it within the next little bit, uh, just because it's so small. And it's The Matchmaker's Rogue by Regina Scott. This is book one in the Grace by the Sea series. And to couple with that, I have books two and books three that I will be reading as well and you'll see my reviews for the whole series on my blog. And yeah, I'm excited to put them on my shelf when I've been reading them. I'm slowly collecting all of her books because I love her. I love her, I love her, I love her. All right, this is another one that I might be able to push around but I hope to get to it as soon as possible and that is The Cul-de-Sac War by Melissa Ferguson. This comes out November 10th and if you keep an eye at your target in December, she will be at every Target, and her face might even pop up on that really big screen at your Target. Uh, she just released and told everyone in the world that Cold Sack War has been asked, is going to be at every Target, and she will be talking about it on the big screen, and it's very exciting. I cannot wait to walk into my Target and see Melissa on the shelf, and then see her face pop up, and I can go, I, I know her. Like, I know her. And I love her, and I'm super, super excited. So if you come to Indiana, I will be bouncing between all the targets, just throwing her book in people's carts. Saying, this is Melissa, I know her. Everyone read her book. I'm great at marketing, I'm great, I'm great at it. Everyone should hire me, I'm wonderful. <laughs> but I'm very excited to read Cul-de-Sac War, and I can't wait to get my finished copy to put it on my shelf next to the dating charade. It's gonna look so good there. And the last book that I have at the moment is one that's kind of on the fence. I would love to read it in November, uh, but it's a chunker. And it really all lands on how Grace and my, how our reading schedule works in October and November, and if she can get with this pledge done, because we were thinking about reading Colors of Truth by Tamara Alexander as our November buddy read, but that might get pushed around um, 
and if it does then it might be a little while before I can get to this one but I do want to get to it as soon as possible because I'm very excited to see and read the story because I loved with this pledge so much last year but it is very big and with this pledge is very big and it really just depends on if Grace can finish with this pledge and if we can get our lives together to read the other books as well. So these books here are the books that are on my TBR at the moment. Um, I know for a fact that we have a new series by Jen Tarana coming out in November. The first book comes out and I'm so excited! And that is To Steal Her Heart and I will be getting that one and that one will be added to my TBR. Um, Courting Misfortune by Regina Jennings will be coming out. Hopefully I will have that one um, and that one will be on my TBR as well. And the Castaway and Something by Julie Clausen. I do not remember what the whole full title is, but that one comes out in December, and I would love to be able to put that one on my TBR as well, but we shall see. Um, is anything else coming out? I'm sure there are other books that I'll be adding to my TBR as it goes. Um, I am going to try to get a couple Christmas reads in this year, which are not review books that I just want to read because I want to and because it's Christmas but thankfully I'm one of those people who can read Christmas books all year round so if I can't read them at Christmas I'll pick them up sometime next year but yeah those are the books my review books that I need to get done by the end of the year and that's my fall slash winter slash rest of 2020 TBR I hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know in the comments below if you guys have read any of these I'm sure you have because most of you are probably on top of your game. I'm a little behind. But if you have read any of them, what was your favorite? And what book are you looking forward to that is coming out in November or December? I would love to know. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, you can follow me on my blog at fortheloveofchristianfiction.blogspot.com where you will see reviews for all of the lovely books behind me. You can follow my Instagram at fortheloveofchristianfiction where you will see pictures of pretty much all of these books too when I talk about my review. All of my other links are in the description box below and I think that's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye!